what's happening gamers hope you all are having an absolutely fantastic day i know i am when last we left our hero we just started powering through some serious levels smashing our way up to 358 total we'd also started some questing and got ourselves 27 quest points along with our first quest dice which really set a fire in my belly and got me thinking what do i actually want to achieve with this hardcore so i asked myself What's an achievable goal that will present some challenges along the way and still allow for a fun continuation of the hardcore after this series, if it survives? Then it came to me. Quest Cape. If I can survive the gauntlet that is the vampire questline, Sliske's Endgame, Extinction, Wild Gothic Sleeps, and the notorious hardcore ending Dragon Slayer, I think I'll be pretty well satisfied. This will require some serious skilling, as the stats for the quest cape require a minimum of 2100 total levels, with the lowest being 61 runecrafting and ranging all the way up to level 85 for numerous stats. So let's get our dailies done and get questing. Alrighty gamers, what's happening? What is happening? To start off with today, chat, I think we are actually gonna go get 50 room crafting so we can unlock the room crafting guild and get some fizz happening that's the goal to start you know what let's go to birth let's do our dailies really quickly and then we'll get stuck in proper and then we're gonna mosey on off to uh to rune span oh my goodness level five wood cutting coming in you'll love to see it first level of the day look at me i'm such the henchest woodcutter <laughs> okay 10 logs let's light those hey there we go level six fire making i haven't even finished the daily task yet and we're, we're just getting gains left right and center oh speaking of level seven fire making damn dude let's go catch 14 crayfish hey alrighty. is that all of our daily challenges done i think it is i think it is claim rewards let's go Level six fishing, two fire making levels, we're now level nine. Oh, and I got a combat XP lamp. Okay, sweet. Oh, I get a daily reset. Free creatures, let's go. We can start doing rune span and we're gonna power up to level 50 rune crafting real quick so I can unlock fizz. Hey, level 10 rune crafting coming in. Oh my lordy. Hey, level 20 rune crafting coming in. That actually unlocks quite a bit of fleshy growth. Body S hounds. Small missile platform. Nice. Hey, level 30 room crafting. 20 levels to go. <laughs> I might have to run a little bit early for the next cache. Because I have to run across White Wolf Mountain. We'll unlock Catherby Lodestone on the way. Well, welcome to Catherby. First time over here on this account. Activate Catherby Lodestone. Ta-da! Oh, that's very nice. Catherby Lodestone unlocks. Oh, you'll love to see it. I wonder what our div level's gonna be looking at after today's next couple of caches. I feel like we can max points consistently if I stick to Quiet Worlds. And there we go! 34 to 37. That was three levels. Shush! Yo! We got some footwear! Second piece of the outfit. Let's go! Back to rune span. Hey! Okay, we just hit 33 rune crafting. Yes, making progress. Okay, well this is, whew, this is significantly more exciting already. We're just starting off and there's good stuff. Hey, level 40 room crafting coming in. I think this is my fourth cache, fourth and final cache for the day. Three maxed caches and one terrible cache today. We take it. Hey, we hit level 40 divination. Nice, actually we boosted all the way to 41. Oh, there we go. Yo, we got a page and we got a reaper and done. And we got 40, 40 slayer. Oh my lordy. All right, how do we look? 16 kills. We got an effigy, 295k back. That's quite good. Two pages. We love to see it. Onyx dust, fudge, yeah. Oh, we got some Oracalcum salvage. So when we get out, that's going to be bang. And we should be able to get another cheeky wee reaper task right now. Five Croesus. Well, I don't actually want to do that right now because I want to trade this effigy in for a 5k XP lamp and then uh, while we're there we can also pick up our strange rock collection bag give me a bag yes please thank you 
Lovely. Is this ancient effigy of use to you? That's going to shave a bit of... Please tell me I can bank it. Well, I was gonna go get 50 room crafting anyway, so I suppose it's going on that. <laughs> I can't believe I can't use the freaking lamp. Oh, there we go, 44 room crafting. Oh, there's a few unlocks with this as well. We get nature runes. Aaron's shifters and nature s hounds. Fantastic. Oh, finally, there we go. 50 room crafting in the bag. Oh, huge. So many unlocks. We can use that lamp as well. Get that out of our inventory. That feels so good, man. I'm just going to do earth, fire, water because that's 94 viz. There we go, there's our first ever viz. Let's get some quick charges on our home tallies. Can we do all of them just for the memes? Yeah, it's one day's worth of viz, that's all right. 940 tallies will last me for ages. Alrighty. Oh, we can go do some quests. Woo! Missing presumed death is the first thing on the list. And missing presumed death complete. 29 quest points now. Boom! So many levels! 11 agility, 12 strength, and 30 prayer. Shall we go do Gertrude's cat now and see about getting ourselves a kit? Oh no! She's lost her cat! That's terrible! Okay. We'll help her out. Oh. I get a kitten! And a bowl of stew. And we got 14 cooking. 7 cooking levels and we just passed 500 total level. We are huge. I have a kitten! Okay, I want I kind of want to bust out Priest in Peril really quickly as well. Greetings, your majesty. I am looking for a quest. Okie dokie! Oh! Cannabis Lodestone unlocked! Oh boy. Next up, let's do one spot of slime because free quest point. Oh, Cooking lamp. Let's get some cooking levels! Oh! Level 20 cooking. Okay, well that wasn't too bad. And we're at 32 quest points now. I want to get the Karamja Lodestone unlocked. Because the more of the map that I have access to, the better. It's our first time on Karamja! The whole new world. What an adventure. Oh, there we go. Karamja Lodestone unlocked. Should we do Ardy Lodestone now? I think we should unlock the Ardy Lodestone now. Oh, heck yeah. Right, now if we talk to, do we talk to Granny for the tutorial for Poff? Because I want to get that unlocked. Oh, oh man. Level 19 farming. Hey, nice. We can play with the Poff tutorial. Oh no, apparently we have to talk to Councillor Halgrave, south of the Arctic Church and north of the zoo. Let's get Sheep Herder under the way. Let's help him herd these sheep. There we go. Sheep Herder complete, plus four quest points and 3,100 gold. I think we are gonna go start Hazel Cult now that we've finished Sheep Herder. Alright, Cyril, where are you? Let's go hunt these cultists down. I'll take it. 1500 thieving XP. Level 11 thieving. Whoa, that was 10 levels in one go. Heck yeah. Alright, let's get Monk's quest, uh, Monk's friend underway. Well, that's quest done. Monk's friend complete. Another quest point, 2000 wood cutting XP and 8 orins. Woo! We can teleport eight times. 19 wood cutting. Should we run down and activate the Yanil Lodestone? Oh, you love to see it. Okay, I need to get some food to stock up. I feel like there's gonna be some combat coming up in the quests very soon. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to Artie and I'm gonna steal some cakes. Oh, there we go. Level 13 thieving. Oh, cages in five minutes. Let's go, let's go. We need to do those, we need to do that. Oh, cache is open. Let's go get in there. 
43 divination. That's quite nice. That is quite nice indeed. We need to finish up the thieving a few more cakes, just so we've got a little bit of food in the bank. I just want to have a little bit, like 50 odd cakes. Maybe slightly more. Oh, level 15 thieving? I didn't realise this would be uh, getting us so many levels. Okay, let's go. We have so much food. Next up is Waterfall Quest. Waterfall Quest, that should give us a good bit of attack and strength XP, which we desperately need because we are very newbie still in the melee department. Very newbie. Hello, Almira. Oh, you need me to do Waterfall Quest, you say? Sure thing. Can do. Oh, man. 13,750 attack and strength XP each. And one quest point. That's pretty good. That's Waterfall Quest done. You've just advanced 27 attack levels. You're now level 30. You've just advanced 19 strength levels. You're now level 31. Hecking heck. And we're 589 total. Absolutely massive. Let's run over to Sears Village and actually unlock that lodestone. Oh no! Oh My cotton! I forgot about it! It was so close to grown up as well. Food in my inventory for everything. Hello, do you have any more kittens? 100 gold, no questions asked. I like the way you operate, lady. Hey, look, looks exactly the same. No one will ever know. There we go. Let's go and do Merlin's Crystal, because that is an easy six quest points, which is just broken. I want to become a knight of the round table. Look at that. You just say that, and he's like, okay, have a quest. All right, there we go. Merlin's crystal done. Six quest points. Huge. The next thing we should do is the Holy Grail quest. And so we start the Holy Grail quest. Easy. There we go. Two more quest points. Holy Grail done. 15,300 defense, 11,000 prayer XP. Access to the fish realm. Not that we're ever going to go back there. Oh, my lord. Lordy, you've just advanced five prayer levels. We are now 36. We've advanced 27 defense levels. We are now level 31. We've hit 600 total level. Combat level 49. Oh my lordy. Oh, that was huge. And we have a cache coming up in a couple of minutes. 46 divination we got out of that cache. You love to see it. Three levels. We should do that Nemi Forest really quick because I feel like that'll be real handy for just getting more prayer and like farming and stuff going early, bit of dungeoneering. I feel like it's only gonna be good for the account. And that got us level 20 farming. Oh, there we go. 37 prayer. Oh, no way! Protect from magic? Oh! Oh, my lordy. Oh, that is fantastic. Chat, we have our first protection prayer. We're huge. Biggest gamers out. Level 10 mining. A few levels up from this, uh, this wee run. Oh, another farming level. 21. Actually, speaking of 21 farming, I'm going to go check on my beehives. Level 22 farming coming in. Holy moly, 23 farming coming in. I barely even touched this thing. Well, that's that's fantastic. And then I think we will check out some god statues for some more prayer XP and some construction. Another two construction levels to 31. And another prayer level up to 39. All right, let's see about doing stolen hearts, shall we? Uh, another quick easy one is required for getting on our way to Menaphos and it will also give us the absolutely massive milestone of 50 quest points. This looks good, this looks good. There we go, new lodestone. Hey, three more quest points, taking us to a grant. Wait, hang on. I'm only at 47, wait, wait. Wait, I thought I got my three quest points. Wait, what? It says you've passed 50 quest points, but my quest point thing only shows 47. I am so confused. Do I need to lobby? Oh no, I did just need to lobby. Weird ass game. Let's get some XP. Grab the constitution XP. Cute. One XP on lamp. 
Strength. Oh, strength, that's said. 250 Strength XP, nothing special. Oh, that lamp gave us level 12 agility though. Some thieving XP. Boom, level 16. Can I claim all my rewards? Thank you. Shall we roll our dice? 50 quest points attained. Let's see, what do we get? Roll in. We're getting 250k and some red elegant legs. Anyway, chat, sadly, that is all we have time for today. So we're going to wrap it up here with 284 levels gained, taking us to 642 total and another 14 quests completed, bringing us to 50 out of 435 quest points. A massive thank you for watching this far through the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to see the mullet live in action, check us out on Twitch. Link in the description below. Right, what were we doing before we decided to check if ED3 was still in the game?